Hi, my name is Marcy Dries. I'm an infectious disease specialist at Christiana Care and the Medical Director of Infection Prevention. Influenza, or the flu, is a very specific type of respiratory virus that causes respiratory symptoms. It shouldn't be confused with the stomach flu that causes nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And it shouldn't be confused with the common cold, which are a whole other family of respiratory viruses that cause a wide variety of symptoms. The flu is different from the cold in that it usually causes more severe symptoms, uh, and it also is a vaccine-preventable disease, which the common cold is not. The flu can be very dangerous, especially for the very young and very old. However, even young, healthy people occasionally can get severe symptoms due to the flu that end up putting them in the hospital, and occasionally they even can die from the flu. Other people that are at increased risk of severe flu are pregnant women, anyone with chronic medical conditions such as chronic heart disease or lung disease, asthma, etc. But again, even healthy people can occasionally get a very bad case of the flu that puts them in the hospital. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that everybody over the age of six months get vaccinated for the flu. Infants under six months don't have a vaccine that's available to them. So for, to protect them, it's important to vaccinate everybody around them uh, who cares for the infant. Everyone else really should be vaccinated and there's no there's no time where it's too early to be vaccinated. The vaccine generally becomes available in August, September, October of each flu season, and that's a perfect time to get vaccinated. You need to wait at least two weeks until until you can expect to be fully protected against the flu. So you don't really wanna wait too late uh, until we're in the midst of a, a severe flu season. However, if you do find yourself unvaccinated and there's a lot of flu in the community, it's really never too late until the flu season ends, which is typically March or April of each year. Every flu season is unpredictable. They start and end at different times and are more or less severe each year, and it's, it's really impossible to predict. Other ways to protect yourself from the flu include washing your hands very frequently, especially after touching uh, public items such as restroom handles uh, or door handles, um, and really anything that other people have, may have touched. Um, trying to remember not to touch your eyes or your mouth or your nose uh, frequently after you've touched other things. Covering your cough, uh, either with a tissue or even with your, with your elbow um, to prevent get your hands from getting contaminated. All of those measures will help to prevent uh, flu from spreading. The flu vaccine is extraordinarily safe. Like any medical product, whether it be a medication or a vaccine, there always will be a very small chance of side effects. The most common thing that happens after a flu vaccine is to have a little bit of a sore arm for a day or two afterwards. Um, But really, it's, it's usually nothing more serious than that. Now, a very small proportion of people may have an allergic reaction to the vaccine or to a component of the vaccine. The vaccines have no evidence of causing things like autism or Alzheimer's disease, and this has been studied extensively, and there's never been any connection found. So if you do get symptoms that you think might be the flu, you really don't have to come into the hospital or the emergency department unless you have more severe symptoms like difficulty breathing, confusion, dehydration, Uh, and things like that. For most people, they know they have the flu. It's better just to stay home and treat yourself symptomatically with uh, fever-reducing medications and, you know, staying hydrated, that sort of thing. You can always call your physician to ask them what their advice is for whether they need to come in, you need to come into the clinic or to come into the hospital. To prevent spread of flu uh, within the hospital, we we offer uh, what are called respiratory etiquette stations. So at every entrance, there are masks and alcohol hand gel and and signs warning visitors to be careful and not to visit if you have the flu. We don't want to get people who come into our hospital who don't have the flu but are in for different reasons. We don't want to give them the flu when they're in the hospital. So we offer that service to visitors. Uh, We also require that our healthcare workers wear masks if they have any sort of respiratory symptoms, whether that's the flu or not, um, to not come to work if they know they have the flu, and to wear masks if they're not able to be vaccinated. The only thing that's predictable about flu seasons is that they're always unpredictable. These are just some of the things that you can do to help prevent yourself from getting flu and prevent spread to others. 
Again, I'm Marcy Dries from Christiana Care.